In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to create your own DV child theme. You know, if you try to do this from scratch by yourself, this may take you a bit of time. But this method that I'm going to show you in this video will really take you a very short time to achieve this. So you may be wondering, why is it important to have your own uh, child theme? So there are several cases where you may want to do this. For example, let's say you're a designer or developer and you want to create child themes to sell on uh, marketplaces online, like for example, divicake.com. Now, this is where you definitely you'll need a child theme because you need to package all these files so that when someone buys them, they're able to install it onto their website easily. The second situation is maybe you want to brand your, um, your themes that you use in your design agency or even in your freelance uh, business. This is an opportunity to have that thumbnail of that uh, child theme to have your details on there. And I'll also show you how to create one in Photoshop and how to implement it as you package your child theme. The third case is if you're a developer and you do make specific changes to uh, the functions.php or the single.php files, then this is vital because if you update Divi without um, having a child theme, all your changes that you do to your PHP files will be erased. However, if you're just designing your website and you don't really go into detail and uh, touch any of those PHP files, then you're fine without a uh, child theme. Okay, so let me show you what we'll be designing and, um, and I'll also go through step by step how to put this together. So over here we can see that um, this is the area where we have all our, th uh, our themes and right now I created this one here called Maketa Media. This is the theme which I created using the process which I'm going to show you in a minute. And uh, as you can see, all these themes have these thumbnails. Now, when I mentioned earlier on that you could use this as a branding opportunity, this is where you can have your logo and also your contact details and so on. And this is what you install on each and every uh, website you design in your agency or in your freelance business. Okay, so before I show you how to create your child theme, let me show you how I managed to create this thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Photoshop. So I'm going to come over here. So the dimensions of this uh, image are 880 by 660 pixels. So that is very important because when you design it, you don't want any of this information cut out. Okay, so what I did here is, in fact, let me disable these layers so you can see how it all started. So it starts off with an image. So this is an image which you can... Um, use that uh, this could be maybe yourself or it could be your company or it can be basically any image that represents your branding okay so i've managed uh, so i decided to choose this image right here so the next thing i want to do here is to add the text that's going to come over here so here i have my uh, my website address i can also go in and maybe instead of having this version i can add my phone number so that's my phone number. So anytime that anyone wants to contact me, they can just go uh, into their website and they can see this thumbnail and the number will be right there. So you can also add even more information here, like uh, maybe your social media links or whatever it is. But like I say, this is the opportunity for you to add information here that can help with your branding. Over here on the right, I added my logo. And again, this logo can be placed anywhere. It can be on the top right you know, top left or whatever it is, but I decided to put it here. Now, as you can see here, it's quite difficult to read this white text on this background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a brand new layer by coming over here to the layers and I'm going to come over here to this gradient tool and making sure that black is my uh, foreground color. All I have to do now is to hold the shift key and drag up like that. And that just gives a gradient. And this allows now my information to be easy to read on this image. All I have to do now is to save. So I'm going to save this as a JPEG. Click on save and then you can save this onto your computer. Okay, so now it's time to create our child theme. So the website I'm using is divicake.com. They have a Divi child theme generator. And the good thing about this is you can also create child themes for extra. Okay, so we have two options here, either Divi or extra. Now... To create this is very, very straightforward. All you have to do is to fill in these uh, spaces. So for example, child theme name, uh, let's call this um, Mac theme or Makita theme uh, version. You can add a version number. So let's say this is version 
uh, author name. I can add my name if I wanted to. And over here, we can also add uh, the URL. So let me just add this here. Okay, so that's my uh, URL. And then over here, you need to specify which um, theme you want to create. So this is for uh, Divi. And then this is where now you get to choose your screenshot. So I'm going to come over here to choose file. And this file needs to be obviously saved on your computer somewhere. So I'm going to come over here to my desktop. And this is the image right here. Upload that. And then here is where you need to add your child theme description. And then this is where you want to add your email address. Now, this is very important because the, uh, the child theme is going to be sent to your email. So make sure you uh, double check your email and make sure that it's correct. And then once you've done that, all you have to do now is to click on build your child theme. So this will take a few seconds and you'll get a notification. And uh, here we go. It says now check your email. Your, your child theme has been generated. Great. So all you have to do now is to go to your email. So I'm just going to go to my email address. Okay. I'm going to check. And here we go. Your DV theme has been generated. And then all I have to do now is to download it. So it's all packaged and ready to go. So I'm going to download it. Okay, so now it's on my computer somewhere. Next, I'm going to come over here now to my website and add that child theme. So I'm going to come over here, click on add new, upload theme, choose file. Okay, it's going to be in my downloads folder. And this is the one right here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and then right click and rename it. Okay, so it's important that you rename it because that's the name that's going to show when you've uploaded it onto your website. So this should do. Right, so I'm going to click on it, click open, install now. Okay, so now the theme has been installed. I'm going to click on activate and there we go. So that's the theme right here. It's activated and ready to go. So every time you make changes to those files that I mentioned, the uh, functions.php uh, or the uh, single.php, Every time Divi has an update, it won't affect all the changes that you've made because everything is in the child theme. So that does it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.